In modern warfare, disabling enemy radar systems is crucial. Anti-radiation missiles, arms, detect, track, and destroy enemy radar emitters, blinding adversaries and giving friendly forces a tactical edge. Two prominent arms today are Israel's IAI Harpy and India's Rudram-1. Both aim to neutralize radar systems but use different methods. This essay will explore their features, operational approaches and capabilities. Will the veteran IAI Harpy hold its ground or will the newcomer Rudram-1 prove its mettle? Let's find out. The IAI Harpy, an anti-radiation drone by Israel Aerospace Industries, loiters in the air searching for enemy radar signals. It uses a passive radar seeker to home in on emissions, operating autonomously. With a range of up to 500 kilometers, it covers vast areas, ideal for tactical and strategic missions. The Harpy carries a high-explosive warhead, delivering a devastating blow to radar installations. Despite its deadly payload, it's lightweight and deployable from various platforms. Its endurance allows it to stay airborne for hours, waiting for enemy radar systems to activate. No radar emitter is safe with the Harpy in the sky. India's Rudram-1, developed by the Defence Research and Development Organisation, targets enemy radar systems to maintain air superiority. Unlike the drone-like Harpy, the Rudram-1 is a traditional missile with an advanced passive homing head. It detects a wide range of frequencies, ensuring precision strikes in cluttered electronic environments. With a range of up to 250 kilometers, it engages targets from a significant distance. The missile carries a powerful high-explosive warhead and can be launched from multiple platforms, including aircraft. Its versatility in launch altitudes and speeds makes it a valuable asset in India's arsenal. Comparative Analysis IAI Harpy vs Rudram 1 Both missiles target and destroy enemy radar systems but use different technologies. The Harpy's passive radar seeker and loitering capability give it persistence, ideal for prolonged surveillance and surprise attacks. The Rudram 1's advanced passive homing head offers precision in crowded electronic environments. The Harpy's 500 km range outstrips the Rudram 1's 250 km, enhancing its strategic value. Both pack high explosive warheads, but the Harpy's loitering ability provides a tactical advantage. The Rudram 1's versatility in launch platforms and mission profiles makes it highly flexible. Operationally, the Harpy has proven effective, while the Rudram 1 shows great promise with its sophisticated technology. Operational use and future potential The IAI Harpy has a proven track record, showcasing its reliability and effectiveness in various conflicts. Its loitering and autonomous targeting make it a favoured choice for neutralising enemy radar systems. Future enhancements in guidance systems and endurance could make the Harpy even more formidable. The Rudram-1, while newer, has demonstrated significant potential with its advanced guidance system and adaptability. As India invests in defence, the Rudram-1 is likely to see upgrades enhancing its range, precision and effectiveness. Both missiles represent significant advancements in anti-radiation technology. Their continued development will ensure they remain critical players in modern warfare. Conclusion Choosing the right missile Choosing between the IAI Harpy and the Rudram-1 depends on mission requirements and operational contexts. The Harpy's loitering capability and longer range suit missions needing prolonged surveillance and distant strikes. The Rudram 1's advanced guidance system and versatility are ideal for precision strikes in complex electronic environments. Both missiles have unique strengths and are valuable additions to any modern military force. As technology advances, both the Harpy and Rudram 1 will continue evolving, maintaining their roles in electronic warfare. The battle of anti-radiation missiles is far from over.